everyone. Ms. Woods again. Wow, twice in one week. That's pretty amazing. We'll see if this one goes through. Again, I'm just took me a long time to figure this one out, so we'll see. Um, I wanted to show you the second part of our pop art camber um, and uh, how, how you can paint it if you guys did it. Uh, if you didn't, it's sad because it is fun. Um, I also want to show you this before I forget it. This is, let's see if it's backwards. No, it's not. What do you do with a problem? These are, I suggested these to you um, last week. Uh, these are three books. What do you do with a chance? What do you do with a problem? And what the first one actually was, what do you do with an idea? And it is, um, it's really good. These are on the New York bestseller list. So um, they are, the illustrations are amazing. Illustrations meaning, right? The person who does the drawings. They're really, really cool. And um, they also have a really good message. So I gave you sites to, um, to those uh, that you can just click on and they'll take you to YouTube, um, somebody reading. I went through and scrolled through, found what I thought was the best reader and gave you the um, uh, site for that. So if you just click on it, it'll take you to it and you can uh, watch it on YouTube if you haven't already done. It's really, it's fun, but they're good books. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to the other camera and show you, let's see if that goes, yeah, here we go. Here we are. Got all kinds of, whoops, I don't think I wanna do it that way. Let me see, how do I do this? There we go. Now. And come in. Oh, there it is. Woo. Okay. So this is, these are my pieces. I remember, I thought afterwards, uh, last time, I think I forgot to, to show you the meat. <laughs> Probably the important part of the hamburger but i figured you guys would figure out that yeah i gotta have meat <laughs> okay so this is the bun now um the bun i didn't um i didn't paint it it was just i cooked it and then it browned like that those are some sesame seeds that i had in my spice cabinet so they're real sesame seeds and i just put some uh, elmer's glue liquid glue on there and um then plop the sesame seeds on there let it let them dry then um, what i would suggest to you uh, that you can do is um, i went over the whole thing with a varnish and you can get it at Roy's ace hardware right down on uh, yakima avenue and seventh if they were there or anywhere i guess up at, um, that they have other uh, ace hardwares and um, this is let me see if i can show it to you this is uh, ace yep poly finish uh, water cleanup, fast drying, low odor, um, satin or gloss, and it makes the colors really stand out, which is, uh, they look a lot better. I put them on, see, I put it on the, um, the tomatoes that I made. If you turn it over, that's the side that doesn't have it on there. See, it's just kind of dull. It's much more, it's much more interesting, bright with the varnish on it after you've painted it. Now, um, these colors you can use um, I'm going to show you kind of how uh, I would go about it. Um, I have the my palette here. I pull that out of the way. And so I have my palette, and I have all the colors. I also I included a black this time just because I'm being kind of lazy. You don't have to have black. You can have if you don't have black, just use the blue. Um, I also included brown, um, and. I'll show you how you mix a brown. We'll kind of go through that again, just to remind you um, about how you mix browns. I think most of you know how to do that, but I'll just remind you on how to do that and how to mix the orange for the cheese. Um, so um, we're gonna start with, let's start with the orange, okay? So I'm gonna begin again with my yellow, drag a little bit of it out. Remember, you're gonna need a lot more yellow then you are red. Just touch the tiniest bit of red there, and wow, it gets orange quick. 
Now, I don't know if it shows up on this video, but that's a pretty bright orange. I'm gonna mix a little bit more. And the orange, I'm going to make the cheese, the orange. This is kind of what I'm going off of. Um, and that, that uh, cheese is white, but there's another one here that uh, the cheese is orange. So that I kind of wanted the orange cheese. So I just take my, um, my cheese that I cut out and cooked, and I'm gonna paint it. I wanna add water to my brush so that it'll kind of smear. Now, why is it not wanting to focus? Kind of went out of focus there for a sec. Let me see if I can get it back in. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna paint that orange. I just mixed a little bit of it. Might want more. In fact, I'm just gonna mix all of my yellow because I don't need the yellow after this. Oh, I do need the yellow. Oh, oh well, I have to mix some more yellow. Some, put some more in there. Okay. Just gonna paint that. Now again, you always wanna dip your brush in water because it goes a lot, it flows a lot easier. That's just a, a general rule. Whenever you're painting, you wanna have water in your brush. You wanna dip your brush in water. It's a lot harder if you don't. Okay, so there's my orange for my, um, let's see, for my cheese. Let's see if I got it very close. And I don't know, again, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's kind of close, kind of the same color. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside to dry. Next color I'm gonna do is, um, I think I'm gonna do, this is where I needed the yellow that I forgot. I'm gonna do, um, I'm patting, you can hear me, I'm patting it. I'm getting the, all the color out of it because I want, next one I wanna do is green. So I'm gonna put a little more yellow on this. I think I'm gonna, do another palette because I kind of messed up my first one. Okay, here's the yellow. Now I'm going to use, um, put some blue in it, and I've already got my blue on my other palette. So I'm just going to dip again, tiniest bit, because remember, blue is your strongest color, and it's really going to change that yellow quickly. So you just want a little bit at a time until you get the color that you like. I want it to be a nice bright green. I'm just gonna keep mixing my blue in there. Again, when I'm looking at it, this is pretty bright. And then when I look at it in the video, it doesn't look very bright. So I hope that it does when you guys play it back that it's a nice bright color. Okay, I'm gonna paint my lettuce. And I already got one layer on there. Um, yeah, I just, I put one on and then I thought, oh, I think I'll wait and show you so that you remember how to mix your colors. Okay, so green is yellow, begin with your yellow, and then add blue to it, and then add water. Make sure you have water on your brush, and it'll flow. If you don't, if it's not flowing in, um, it's because you don't have water on your brush, enough water. Okay, so I'm gonna add some more to it. And, I don't know, Kind of a nice green. I might make it even a little bit darker. You can uh, you can go over it if you if you kind of look at it and go, eh, I don't know. You can make it darker. And go over it. Right. Well, it's still wet. It's fine. It smells like bread. It's kind of interesting. Um, when it gets wet, it smells like bread, which is because it's flour and salt. So it's got what what bread has in it. Okay. So there is my lettuce. Okay, I think I want it even darker, but I can keep doing that. You keep going over it, make it as dark as you want. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside to dry again. Okay, now I'm gonna use, um, you're gonna need, I already painted these. I just painted them straight up white. That's the, um, that's the onions, okay. Um, the pickles should be green too. So while I got it, I was gonna put pickles, like I, I think I told you last time, I was gonna put pickles 
on the sandwich, but wow, um, it's really tall and I don't think I can fit them on there. So I decided I just do sliced pickles and I would just paint those on. And if again, if it's not going on super easy and going into all those little cracks, it means that you don't have enough water on your brush. It's better to have maybe even too much water and have to do it twice than it is to have not enough water and, um, and, and try to do it once. It's just too hard. Okay, so there's one of my pickles. I'm liking that pickle. So I'm gonna put that down. And I, I made two of them, but I'll just paint one of them so you can see that. All right, now the last thing I'm gonna do, and I don't really need to wash my brush. If um, I, again, I also already painted these straight up red. So you can just paint those straight red with what you got in your palette, okay? But I did wanna show you this. This is the brown for the meat, okay? Now, if you want, you could just use straight brown or you can mix it, okay? Depends on what you've got for paint. Um, you, by the way, I've been um, including in the messages that I'm sending you that we have a bunch of extra paint up in the St. Joe building in the cafeteria and you, it's free. You can just come and get it, get what you want. Uh, we also have drawing paper, two different sizes of drawing paper and um, tag board, which is kind of a little uh, heavier. So yeah, you should come and get those. Um, they're free and they're, they're just sitting in there. Nobody's in there, so you can just go in. You don't have to worry about um, wearing a mask or any of that kind of stuff. It's nobody's there, so yeah, I just left them there. Okay, so I'm gonna make it kind of a dark brown. I got the brown, I've already got brown, so I'm kind of being lazy and I'm just using straight up brown. Now what happens if you don't have brown? And, but you have the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. You mix those colors together and you get red. And I'll just mix it in with my yellow, yellow, and a little bit of blue. See how far, what I get. Again, mix those things slow. Don't try to mix a whole bunch at one time because if you mix too much blue in there, it's really hard to kind of go backwards. It's hard. You're kind of stuck. This is not quite as dark. So I just keep adding. If you want it darker, you add blue, more blue to it. If you want it a little redder, you add more red. You just have to kind of figure what what do you like? What does it look good? How does it look? I'm getting pretty close to the brown that's right out of the tube here. So I'm just gonna paint it with that one. And again, a little water in my brush because I noticed it's not sinking in quite the way I want it to. Okay, hopefully this will dry a little darker. It's kind of light. Now, um, one thing I noticed uh, on the pictures that I was looking at, they're kind of charcoal-y looking. So that's why I added just the tiniest bit of black. If you don't have black, then, and I'm just dotting it, I just want to make it look like it's kind of char broiled or something. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I might, you might even wait until it dries and then put the little charbroiled stuff over it, uh, putting a little bit of black over it to make it look charbroiled. Okay. So that's the, the meat. Um, I had, hopefully, you watched when you were cooking and you uh, didn't overcook your french fries. Because if you overcook your french fries, you have to paint them because they don't look like french fries anymore, they're burnt. So I had to do that because I overcooked. I didn't check quickly enough. So that's how I learned and told you guys to check every, you know, half hour or so to make sure that you didn't overcook. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the plate that I put it on. I just got a paper plate. This is the bottom, by the way. This is my bottom. The back side hasn't been painted at all, but I kind of had to paint the front because, again, overcooked. Okay, so that's just a, if, if you're doing that, it's just brown with some white added to it. It's a light brown, so it's a tan. Okay, now this is my paper plate. And um, what I did was I cut out ads. I, I don't know, I just didn't want the paper plate look kind of plain to me. So I thought, well, it's art. I'm gonna make a collage out of it. So I cut out um, ads that you just get in the mail all the time. I get pampered ads all the time. 
um, and I uh, glued them. And the way I glued them was with a uh, Q-tip. And I just, and I, here it is, here's the Q-tip. And I just took the Q-tip and I dipped it in um, Elmer's glue, liquid glue. And I ran it all across the back. I made sure it was all covered. In this case, you want it all to be covered, not just the outside edges. You want the whole thing. And then I just pressed it in. And that was my, that's what I did. Now, once my um, hamburger is, my hamburgers are dry, I'll varnish them. And then I'm going to put them together. Now, you can put them together with, um, I would suggest either tacky glue if you got it, or the best is hot glue. So those of you who have hot glue guns, this thing will go together much better with hot glue. With uh, tacky glue, it won't take quite as long um, to dry as it would with just regular glue, and it's thicker, so it will hold up better that way too. Okay, but you can use regular glue. It's just got to put a whole bunch on there. Okay, so that's that. That's pretty easy, and that's my pop art hamburger, and I will put that all together after it dries. Now, um, I wanted to also uh, mention to you that um, this week I've got um, some uh, uh, stuff for you that um, I, I, from what I understand, you guys are getting super stressed out. There's a lot of stuff going on. And so what I did was I wrote out some stuff that would just be kind of fun. Uh, take the pressure off, kind of have fun Friday. Um, you don't have to, um, there's not a lot of thought that has to go into it. One of them was to listen to some great music that I also get provided a link for you. Um, it is um, where a bunch of people who are in isolation, they all got together and they, they got together uh, virtually. Um, and you can see them, they're all in their room um, and they're playing by themselves but they're playing together on youtube and it's really really cool so i provided you with a couple of links to that just uh to how how people are getting really creative during this time when we have to be um all separate um the other thing that you could do is you could make a poster and put it in the wall and a lot or excuse me in the window a lot of people are doing that they're um they're making posters it's kind of a thing right now People are making posters, they're sticking them in the window. They're encouragement, encouraging posters like, uh, oh, well, mine was, uh, this too shall pass. I'm going to make mine and put it in my window. Um, anything so that when people are walking by, they can see that it, just an encouraging word is just kind of a fun thing to do. And you can also, um, I gave you some uh, different kinds. If you, if you can't get down, you don't have any paint, and you can't get down to get some paint, you can make paint out of vegetables and coffee. And I gave you recipes for that um, so that you can do that if you want to. It also has some face paint recipe in there. And I gave you some drawing prompts just to kind of, again, get your creative juices going um, so that you uh, can kind of think about what you'd like to do. Let's see if I'm here. So yeah, so you can just, it's just, it's just fun. You can think creatively. So this was just designed to kind of take some of the pressure off because I know that I've heard that we kind of overwhelmed you guys with work. And so today is a day where you should just relax uh, and have a fun Friday. Um, and so that's, um, that's all. So um, I will talk to you again uh, when I have something to show you again. Um, and I hope you guys are all doing really well. I miss you. I miss being in the classroom. I'm not crazy about this, having to go over the computer. You know, you guys remember how often I used my smart board, <laughs> my computer, <laughs> like never. So this, is, uh, this has been a real challenge for me. Um, but uh, we all just got to do the best we can, right? So um, have a good day. Have a good next week. And I'll be in contact again. Mm-hmm.